the court held that the challengers had failed to show that the ban violates either U.S. immigration law or the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment prohibition on the government favoring one religion over another. Writing for the court, Chief Justice John Roberts said that the government has set forth a sufficient national security justification to prevail. We express no view on the soundness of the policy, Roberts added. The ruling affirmed broad presidential discretion over who is allowed to enter the United States. It means that the current ban can remain in effect and that Trump could potentially add more countries. Trump has said the policy is needed to protect the country against attacks by Islamic militants. The current ban, announced in September, prohibits entry into the United States of most people from Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen. The Supreme Court allowed it to go largely into effect in December while the legal challenge continued. Roberts said the actions taken by Trump to suspend entry of certain classes of people were well within executive authority and could have been taken by any other president, the only question is evaluating the actions of this particular president in promulgating an otherwise valid proclamation. The challengers have argued the policy was motivated by Trump's enmity toward Muslims and urged courts to take into account his inflammatory comments during the 2016 presidential campaign. Trump as a candidate called for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Taking all the evidence together, a reasonable observer would conclude that the proclamation was driven primarily by anti-Muslim animus, Sotomayor added. Trump also has moved to rescind protections for young immigrants sometimes called dreamers brought into the United States illegally as children, acted against states and cities that protect illegal immigrants, ended protected status for certain immigrants in the country for decades, intensified deportation efforts and pursued limits on legal immigration. Trump last week retreated on his administration's practice of separating the children of immigrants from their parents when families were detained illegally entering the United States.